Why this number of lawyers is not easy? I'm not worried about it. Okay. Everybody, man, we can step aside. There's no reason. Number jump for paper. If I know, it will be good. Anybody that wants to see you. You just said. Are you ready? So, what did you come here to do? Can we come here because of the camera? Can we come here because of the camera? Okay, okay. Let's go. Yes, let's go here. We can face the door. Yes, come back with us. 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 Come Sorry, sorry. Let the council be by your yes, by your immediate right. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Go, go. Exactly. Okay. Marissa, can you tell us what you came to the court today to do? Well, I, to put it mildly, it, it looked like I came here to do battle with uh, almost 10 lawyers from the federal government. But you see, uh, to uh, talk seriously about it, we were in court today to make a case for our client, Mazin Namdekano. What happened to him in September 2017 is abominable. He has never been litigated in any court of law in Nigeria. And that action of the federal government and her agencies we contend is a flagrant violation of his uh, fundamental rights to life against arbitrary arrest, like the right to fair hearing, and so on and so forth. And uh, as if that was not enough, those that failed to kill him in 2017 pursued him hotly into Kenya, where he had made a lucky escape from that attack in 2017, and renditioned him back to Nigeria. That is wrong. We are saying it's wrong in the eyes of the law, not only of international law, but the laws of Nigeria, the laws of Kenya, and against the rules of natural justice. Altogether, those things constitute very serious violations of its fundamental rights as guaranteed under the Constitution of Nigeria and the African Charter on Human and Post Rights. And we're in court, and we've been in court since August, but today, we are got to adopt our processes and successfully we adopted our processes. We moved our motion and the respondents opposed our motion, made their own case and we have finally joined the issues and this case is over. What we now await is the judgment of the court by the glory of God. The fundamental rights, action, the journey of Mazin Nandekano through the judicial process in the, you know, in our state, it's finally over, and we await for the decision of the court to see where the gavel has fallen. And I take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my colleagues who have assisted me. One of them is here, Patrick Agazie Esquire. He has been a rock of Gibraltar standing behind me in this lonely, sometimes lonely quest for justice for Mazin and the And I have on my left here, the Boyaki Boyaka the very able, capable, and committed president of our hands in youth worldwide. And the other people also as well, people seen and unseen, who have offered their moral support. I thank all of you, and I'm happy that we have come this far. And let us await for the court to come out with the decision that would meet the ends of justice. Sorry, sir. What did you specifically ask the court to um, do for you? Okay. What we are asking is for, we're asking for a declaration that what happened in September 2017 in Isiama Afaruku Omaha, namely the little military invasion 
of the home of Mazin Namdekano in Pistoj, it lies where lost. It's a violation of his fundamental rights, and he deserves compensation for that. He deserves apology, and he deserves monetary compensation. But most importantly, what happened recently, in June this year, when Mazin Namdekano was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya to Nigeria, is the most egregious conduct that you can expect from any state. That too, Inam the Kano deserves compensation. And the kind of compensation that comes when government engages in that conduct is that the, such government will lose its authority to prosecute such an individual. So we're asking this court to stop the prosecution of Mazin Nam the Kano based on the unlawful expulsion, his unlawful expulsion from Kenya, otherwise known as extraordinary rendition. Let it be clear that this lawsuit is not targeting the court in Abuja. <clears throat> the lawsuit is tar targeting the prosecution. The Attorney General prosecuted. The Attorney General is amenable to lawsuit. He's not above the law. He can make mistakes. So, as in this case, he made a very serious mistake. So, we're asking the court to issue the appropriate orders stopping the prosecution. Because before you prosecute a fugitive, that you found in a foreign country before you, you prosecute him in the country of interest. There are certain things the judge today called arrest protocols or conditions precedent. You extradite that fugitive, that suspect. You don't rendition him. If you extradite the fugitive, which means you took him through the process of law, of extradition in that very country of refuge, that is how you gain jurisdiction authority over the fugitive. If you rendition the fugitive or otherwise kidnap him, you have no jurisdiction to benefit from your own wrong. It's inequitable. Equity does not allow it. The government cannot benefit from its own wrong of kidnapping and abduction of Mazin Nandekan. So we're asking this court to stop the prosecution. And ultimately, if that occurs, the court uh, also, we're asking the court to enter the appropriate orders to release Mazen Nandekano from detention. Thank you very much. Sir, please restate your name for the record. My name is Aloy Jibako, Special Counsel for Mazen Nandekano and the Indigenous People of Biafra, and proudly so. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Can we have that document? Because we are reading it. Can we have it? No, we don't have a copy of the document. It's, it's with the court. The document is really of no consequence. They brought it in to court. Okay. Can you say the date for the next? No, now it will be complicated. The judge said we'll be notified. Oh, can I see? Uh, with the hearing notice <coughs> as to when uh, we come back for the judgment. Well, Obi Dumotona, a case in Bidoro in August, uh, late August. You can say almost in early September because Obi Dum case are na 26th of August. And that about 10th of December, and they finish and I'm the case standard. I hope you do more talk now. Um, case are got a fast old train. I want to know what they want. Ah, man, I mean, I am going to come up on a court to talk to my guarantee lawyer. I'm going to have a baby. 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 I'm going to Okay, um, because you bag it, you die in a hand of the lawyer, you or ranging from the represent the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the DSS, the police, and the rest of them. So, 
Gene ba to manya nki ipe nke tata ole he e bo ato manya ole e bo okosere ni ihe ozo na eso ya eh di ka ndi oki wa ebu ai nwere ntukwasi obi nke ukwu na nwube ulo ipe ai nwere oli na anya na ihe ni na yoro uli ipa na ga emera ya o ihe ibu no obi ya obu no uli ipe nene ihe ikwu nene ndi ai kpotaro uno ipe ihe ha ku o be bi oku mara enwe ro di lanya nwen tu kwasi obi guku na azom oku megide ntara ahoho nwuru nwuru na ngugba ni ike si kenya we bata nigeria ihe ni na emere nna ndi mazi nna ndi ka anu ai nwe ro di lanya no nri ba ka akuti ya maku waputa na odi njo nyeku ontuzi aka si tora pia na mboro Kepakannya <tuk> di iru eju ese go si wega nka anwa dara nwe mgwaji ukwu nwe ke ele mana nka agara gara ha ai we si ka ewe to ukwu a ni iru ulo ibe obi ya nke puta ni ha na etu gba wo bo chaga cha bi ya bi ikpe oki ikpe ekugo na age ezi korito ozi ma oburu na ikpe ara na njikere na njikere age ezi oha na eze ai bia kwa ka isi bia nde wo yes alo alo acha bigi be ihe ya biasi for for the judgment okay there was any other argument there was any other process i have about in chabi ikwe we judgment yes so i biasi i biasi judgment ka ya nyesi nde wo nda lo kwa nda lo eh eh ikani ta kwa ganya ha okay in igbo or english no in english we have done this yeah we have done this yeah we have done this yeah what of uh, yeah it yeah they not mm -hmm. Bateria <laughs> In, in the in the project coming from the background of uh, Igbo youth so okay uh, the arrowhead of Igbo youth organization uh, so thank how you, do you feel today thank you so much uh, my name is comrade Ibuayaka Oyibuayaka I'm the national president of Akhaneze Youth Council uh, there is something we witnessed today and it's very very quite unfortunate and that is the issue of the presence of the security agents all over the place uh, all over the corner all over the joints all over the junction that you can use to enter the court. It's very, very unfortunate. And we are aware that today we are talking about the human fundamental rights of a Muslim and the Khan. It's also against the human fundamental right for such a, a restriction of people's movement to come to a court to uh, get involved or observe the court proceedings. So uh, such a, 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 a security threat is very, very quite unfortunate uh, because I believe that the logistics they use today to block all these entrances, they can also use that logistics at this period that we are witnessing the issue of bandit and also kidnapping and so many uh, gang uh, stars and criminals uh, around within the southeast and within our country. So they could have used that logistics to tackle this level of insecurity we are having in our country than you know, uh, bringing such a security men in all the, you know, junction, threatening people, intimidating people from having access into the court. It is quite unfortunate. And I believe that it's because of the kind of system we are running in our country today. It is unfortunate that we have um, we, we, uh, 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 we have executive that is, uh, 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 that is uh, you know, swimming in impunity. We have legislator that is, that is, that, that is swimming in rascality. And it's very, very unfortunate. So, and uh, in a, in a, in a, 
in, in a civilized world, you cannot do such a thing. So we are very, very embarrassed on the treatment of the security agent on this issue. And we are calling the Nigeria government to make sure that all this thing will not happen again because there is no issue of creating tension. This is a judiciary process. So I believe that uh, you know uh, having all these uh, security men here and there is part of creating tension. With already tension we have in our country today. I believe that today Nigeria needs a social stabilization and there are things we need to do in that aspect. On the issue of the case of our brother, we know that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. So I watched the proceeding, I observed the proceeding. It is a good one and I believe with what I saw, uh, this court has every right to deliver justice and I believe from every proceedings uh, our anticipation is just uh, justice and I believe that when there is justice, the tension of everything that is happening in this country will go down. So I advise the Nigerian government to make sure that justice is served. I also advise the judiciary to make sure that justice is served because when there is justice, there is peace. When there is justice, the tension going everywhere will come down and this is what we are advocating for. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.